Earlier this year, I shared with you what a what I eat typically in a day. Recently, I've kind of made a change to my diet. I have lessened my meat intake, which I think has really helped really transform my body. So I kind of wanted to do a redo and show you kind of what I'm really eating now. Cutting out meat isn't for everyone. So I'm gonna take you through a little bit of a step-by-step -step of what I eat for lunch, breakfast, dinner, snacks. Just my go-tos. All right, so I start my day by coffee. I live and die by coffee. I put cinnamon in my coffee. I am obsessed with this new plant company called Good Milk. It is pure plant milk. This is pure almond milk. Four ingredients, sprouted almonds, alkaline water, and salt. Actually, three ingredients. It's great. You um, put it in the freezer, you thaw it, fill the rest up with water and that is your milk for your four days. They have the matcha powder and the almond powder that I use in my coffee, and it is amazing. And that is every day how I start my day. I give this to my babies in their bottle, and I do the creamer in my coffee, and then I'll use this throughout the day. I love egg whites. I don't know why. I've eaten egg whites for 100 years. I still eat them. Um, I love the Eggology. I make egg whites. I do use a little mineral salt, and I do half of an avocado. So this is kind of like my staple. Next for lunch, we're gonna do a salmon. I know, I try not to eat too much salmon, which is why we did shrimp as well. So you can just put um, shrimp on the skillet, little olive oil, um, salt and pepper, any kind of spices that you want. It's really delicious. Or you can do um, a salmon, and you guys, I know, see, see me eat this a lot, so I wanted to be really truthful. Sauteed spinach and cauliflower rice. And again, do your baby spinach, little garlic, little salt, oil. Um, it's so good, it's really healthy, great for iron. And then I love Cece's um, veggie rice, and this is cauliflower. I have different rices, but it's really, really good. And I also love my right rice, um, which is also great. So cauliflower rice, right rice, um, again, low carb. So around four o'clock, I do crash. I'll have coffee with um, almond milk creamer. I'll do a matcha, um, but I also have some type of ball. We freeze these. Um, there are these peanut butter balls. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the ingredients and you can check it out on my site, exactly how to make it. But the key to this is it's no bake. You know, it's easy. Your kids can help you, you can do it. Um, you've got coconut flakes, hemp, flax. You've got your oats, you've got your honey, you've got your honey, your peanut butter, and your coconut oil. And last but not least, you've got your chocolate chips. Again, you can take out half or all of these ingredients. You can change the ingredients. You can, if you don't like hemp, you can take that out and add something else. Chia seeds, um, you can add nuts, you can add, you know, type of cranberry. Um, my kids love these, I'm obsessed with them. They come out like this. You can have your kids roll them. Um, we keep some version of these in my refrigerator or freezer at all times. And it really does give you that boost. It's high in protein and a little bit of fat so you can take you through to dinner. So I love a soup, I love a chili. So today we made for you guys what we make. It's our vegan chili. I do add turkey for my kids or my husband if they want it. I'll make two extra batches. Um, but it's so good, it's so filling. And I will say, try Meatless Monday, try one day a week. I don't know why cutting out or lessening my meat intake has made a huge difference in my weight loss, but it really has. Um, so with this vegan chili, Again, the um, exact um, recipe will be on our site. Um, we use crushed tomatoes, two big things of it, two pinto, two kidney, and all of this goes into the crock pot all together. I love a crock pot. Um, vegetable broth, onion, garlic, staple, um, carrots, celery, celery carrots, um, avocado, avocado and a half, and then two green peppers. This is delicious. It fills you up, especially we're going into the winter months and it's really, it just, it makes you feel good. I think sometimes when you're trying to figure out what you're eating, like this can be a staple every week. Um, and again, use that crock pot because there's so many things you can just throw into it that you don't have to think about it. And it can cook for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Um, I love me a one pot. Um, and also I get that, those good, really delicious ingredients that, I don't know, it's like comforting. And we use a vegan cheese on top of it. It's called aged nut cheese. I know, just give it a chance. I'm, I love dairy too, but I'm trying. This is from, from Parmela Creamery and it's a sharp sh shredded artisanal nut cheese. And it's really good, I promise. 
but you can also do just your normal cheddar as well. Last but not least, everyone knows that I love hot chocolate at all times. So for my snack, yes, I have my peanut butter balls. I love, I mean, I found this thing. It's so good. It's called Four Sigmatic Mushroom Cacao Mix. Um, we talk about aptogens. This is for a restful sleep. It makes you cozy, it makes you comfy, it makes you sleep well, and it's guilt-free because it's hot chocolate. It's aptogenic mushroom, so it's not really hot chocolate. You can fill it with milk, you can fill it with water. It's cozy, it's comfy, and I'm telling you, you guys are gonna love it. And it's organic. And that, my friends, is what kind of my typical day. Again, if you have any things that you'd like me to try, you know, comment below. I love hearing from you guys. I'm all about wellness, you know, it's not about being skinny or being, you know, on a diet. It's all about living healthy and having a healthy life and feeling good. Because if you feel good, you look good. And if you look good, you feel good.